Hi guys, Jivan for Torican TV here in Torican, South in San Fernando. I'm here with Nikosi Wiley. Um, Nikosi has been a member of Torican for the past four years. Yeah. Right? Joined in 2008, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I started doing Krav Maga. Yeah, yeah that, was a, that was the first thing that you did, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. First and only thing. Only thing. Yeah. yeah. Right, good stuff. Um, Nikosi, since then, Nikosi left in 2010 and came back in 2000. In, sorry, left in 2010? Yeah. Came, Came uh, back in 2011, yeah. right, and has been part of Torek and South since we opened in January. Um, and of course, he's a teacher. He used to teach for Maple Leaf before he went away, and when yeah. he came back, he now teaches at Trillium International in Shiguan. Yes. Um, Nikosi, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself and um, your experiences here at Torek and how you came to join the Torek and family? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, as Jivan mentioned, I'm a teacher and I initially got involved because a few of my students um, came to Torakan Dojo in um, Port of Spain right. and you know, they, you know, they told me about it and the good vibes there and everything and uh, you know, the little testosterone, you know, so you could take it down if you're pushing. So, Always. Oh, yeah, Always. I know, teenagers. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, um, they really got me interested and piqued my interest. So um, I went out for one of the first, you know, the in, um, initial sessions. And although I was always relatively fit because I play football all the time, right. um, the first session kicked my tail. Yeah, like I was, I was fitness, done. Huh? Yeah, I was done at the end. Um, so I was like, "What the jail is this?" <laughs> and um, it's also and to look next day and see to have girls who pushing it and making your push-ups look like they're non-existent <laughs> is a different experience. What's really going on exactly. here? Exactly, <laughs> looking next, looking over, and you dying, and they pushing it. Um, that really um, motivated me to come back again right. and see what it is about. Um, because I thought I was fit. Um, so yeah, so I kept coming and I stuck with it. And so even when I went away, I looked for um, other Krav Maga right. um, locations away in, in Tor um, Toronto. Um, so it's something that like, is part to me now. Right. Like I rarely miss classes. Um, so it's very, very important to me. Um, it helps me maintain my fitness, which is the, um, the obvious part, but it also gives me like a real mental strength to go beyond when you think you know you've had it right and that for me is actually the biggest 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 benefit um from krav maga um for me i right. mean not including of the obvious practical aspects of self-defense yes. in china because you know china is not the you know the easiest place to live now for sure so you always have to be able to protect yourself and your family and your loved ones right so yeah, yeah. um and then when you guys you guys opened down south you know i wanted to be part of it down here too, so I came down with you and I've been coming here ever since. Yeah, it's true. He has so. not missed a class yet, huh? not one class. No. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, and there's like tons, seriously, there's tons of benefits from coming to craft. You know, the, the old cliche of the Torakan members are family yeah. is, um, is, is not a cliche, it's a fact, right? Um, and again, the benefits of the mental strength and the practice, being able to protect yourself and your family, that is also, you know, that is very, very important to me. And um, some of the members will say, you know, yeah, becoming sexy. You know what I mean? So you look yourself in the mirror every day. Yeah. You know, you, you actually feel better about yourself, and it's really motivating to continue to. So yeah. Right. Well, thanks for that, Nikosi. That yeah. was very informative. Thanks. Yeah. No problem. Um, well, yeah, that's it for this episode. Um, check us out in Gulf City on this Saturday. Uh, a couple of us will be down here, down there, sending out some flyers. Uh, if you see this, and yeah, don't feel be ashamed to come and hail us out. Um, check you next time. Peace.